Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the Canary Channel Insiders also received a new build late last week on Friday, build 25936. So just a quick look as to what is hot off the presses in last week's Canary Channel build. So what's new in build 25936? Well, first of all, Microsoft says that with this build, they have rolled out and are trying out several new experiences for after completing OOBE. So that's the out-of-box experience when you are setting up a new device. Now, this is the only um, new feature in build 25936. And basically, the reason Microsoft say that they are rolling out um, these experiences is to help you learn about new features in Windows 11 and help you complete your device setup. Now, you may see one of three experiences launched automatically on your device after completing OOBE. Now, I'm just going to mention these quickly. Um, the first experience you may see is if you choose development intent within the let's customize your experience page during OOBE, Dev Home, so that's the Dev Home app, will automatically be launched on your device after logging in and reaching the desktop for the first time after OOBE setup. Now, the second experience you may see is if you choose development intent within the let's customize your experience page during OOBE, the get started app will be automatically launched on your device after logging in and reaching the desktop for the first time after OOBE setup. And the Get Started app will show you a personalized flow, says Microsoft, that will help you learn more about Dev Home and give you the opportunity to open Dev Home. And then the third experience you may see is if you choose to restore your device during OOBE, the Get Started app will be automatically launched on your device after you log into your device for the second time after completing OOBE. And basically, this is to tell you that Windows has restored on your device and show you how to access your restored apps on the Start menu or the taskbar. So um, those are three experiences that you could see that are rolling out now to the, the Canary channel, as Microsoft says, to help you learn about new features in Windows 11. And just take note, though, that they are only available to a small subset of insiders in the Canary channel at first. And you may see different variations of these experiences because obviously it's still early days and this is a brand new feature. Now, that's the one new feature. And just to mention and go through two key improvements, dynamic lighting is a feature that Microsoft is working on uh, in the Insider program, which we are going to be seeing possibly roll out with the 23H2 feature update. And in this, in last week's Canary Channel build, they've added the ability uh, to choose a custom color to light up your device with. So dynamic lighting, as I have posted previously, um, is where, as an example, your RGB peripheral devices that support and they carry the necessary support, um, you can use dynamic lighting to actually light up your RGB devices. And now um, they've added the ability to choose a custom color, which if that is something you would use and have the necessary hardware, I think that is a nice move. And the last key improvement is Microsoft says they've updated the task manager settings page to match the design principles of Windows 11. The, the design has a similar look and feel to the settings in Windows 11 and provides a cleaner UI separating categories in different sections. So that's obviously Microsoft just to trying to bring a more consistent look and feel uh, to some of those legacy apps in the Windows 11 operating system. And then over and above that, um, there are also two fixes that have rolled out for known issues, which is always a good thing when known issues are addressed. Uh, in any build of Windows 11. And that's what's new for build 25936, which rolled out late last week on Friday to the Canary Channel Insiders. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.